Und siehst du, der Latos im Riefbach kommen ist! Legion has engaged the enemy. Tactical reserves. Siriamo!
I just want to charge the walls of Matilene and cut down every last Greek within that city. If what I hear is true, you won't have to wait long. The higher ups are planning a swift counterattack. To simple men, conquest seems trivial. You, on the other hand, recognize the intricacies of such an operation. Fortuna favors the bold, they say. We have encircled Metilene, but we still need to take the city itself. Archelaus is an arrogant man, but nevertheless, a skillful general. We are mobilizing for a direct assault on the city. The fortress must fall swiftly. The harbor is filled with burned shipwrecks. No Triarchus could get through all the debris. Ah, the man with whose ship you came here. Good idea. Geminus has a reputation as a highly skilled navigator. As always, we are ready to march on your order, Legate. All is well, I hope. Domina, are the rumors true? That you now lead Legio Wictrix? That is an amazing thing for a woman. It is an honor to have hosted you on my galley. And I meant it wholeheartedly. Please tell me how this humble Triarchus can be of assistance. I can do that. It's the least I can do to thank you. Listen, my friend, I feel compelled to come clean. Your friend the gladiator was not wrong about me. I had given our route to the rebels of Lesbos. Since you spared my life, I've laid awake every night racked with guilt. I wish I could make myself deserving of your mercy. If that's all it takes, I shall consider myself twice blessed by the gods for your magnanimity. I will prepare the ship at once and sail to the north of the island. Meet me near Mytilene and I will do the rest.
It's the end for you, Archelaus. Yield, if you know what's good for you. Oh, great and terrible Romans. Thank you ever so much for your mercy and consideration. I have been trembling in fear of your arrival. Should I fall on my knees and beg for my life? You assure it? Well, that already makes me feel better. And who told you it's fine to interrupt when the men are talking? Watch your tongue. You're talking to the commander of Legio Wittrix. This young girl is barely fit to command a traveling band of jugglers. Did you really think you could challenge me here, of all the places? This is my island now. You are nothing but a nuisance. Is it truly, though? In your arrogance, you thought you could sneak into Mytilene's harbor a second time and take its commander's head. Predictable and pathetic. You are at my mercy now, just as I planned it. After I kill you, I'm coming for your consul.
howl like the dog you are. They must fight on our terms.
dog you are! Brother at all.
someone drop this old man up? Defenders are scattering. They know they're beat without Archelaus to command them. I don't think there's any danger of reinforcements. Shall we make our way back to Lucullus's camp and let the Consul know the battle is won? Good idea. I'll wait here. Just let me know when you're ready to leave.
Are you ready to leave? The console will be proud. We fought like wolves today. Congratulations, young woman. That was quite an impressive display of command proficiency and valor. Humility is virtuous indeed. However, the best of troops are useless without a good commander. You would do well to remember this. Unfortunately, you will get to test your abilities again soon. Except, Asia Minor is still not under control. Cotter failed. The Pontic army has now laid siege to Chalcedon. The pirates will retreat to Asia to support their patron, Mithridates Megas. We must transfer our troops to Asia and quickly subjugate the region. Hopefully, we will break the siege in time to save our fellow Romans. When do we leave? Make your preparations. We leave at dawn's first light. At your service, Legate. Indeed you are. And it is the fastest promotion I've ever witnessed. Congratulations. Do you think it is time to celebrate? Very well. We shall celebrate when we're back in Rome. It is unfortunate that our forces in Asia Mino have failed, but see it as an opportunity. Now we play a more prominent role. This is your chance to truly shine. Do not waste it. There's no knowing for sure. The tales people tell of Mithridates Megas make him out to be a god. But honestly, I think with Lucullus commanding the legions, not even gods can stand in our way. Our need to save Cotter complicates matters, that much is true. But the greatest commanders see opportunity where others can only see misfortune. Don't waste this opportunity. Selway, my girl, do you need anything? That is unnecessary. I just wish your father could see you like this. He would have been proud. Your father was like a brother. Not everything is a balance sheet. Some matters are just personal. My mentor, Cornelius Sulla, defeated him some years ago, when he first invaded our province of Asia. Mithridates exploits the ebb and flow of the conflict between the factions of our Senate. He strikes when Rome is divided, like a vulture circling a wounded wolf. Pontus is a strong nation. They have conquered Colchis, Cappadocia, and Bithynia, and these conquests have made them bold. Mithridates himself is a fascinating figure. They say he has rendered himself immune to poison. We served together under Cornelius Sulla in the Social War. He was the most talented spy I've ever known. Sooner or later, even the most gifted of us makes a mistake. In this line of work, mistakes are often deadly. Away, Legate. From what I hear, you barely have an anvil over there. Perhaps you should make sure you have the tools I'd need. Then I'll consider it. 
I'm just a legion blacksmith, not a magician. If you have something particular in mind, we'll talk. But I'm still as busy as I was before you were promoted. You'll have to leave one of your people with me to help out with your commissions. A bunch of Balatrenes, I'd say. Which one are you asking about? I've known that man since he was a little runt. Watch yourself around Cayeso. He's honest to a fault. Too much honesty may be dangerous. Don't get me started. Maybe you can get it into his skull that I can't forge a battle scythe. There is no such thing by Vulcan. That half-senile fool was your mentor. That explains a lot. Between you and me, I'd keep my eye on him. Full of surprises, that kid. Full of surprises. Fine. Need something else? With Carter's fleet defeated, it will take some time to move the legions into Asia. We should relocate Legio Wittrix first. Your Legionari have been sitting idle too long, Consul. They just about put down roots. Agreed. The task of picking our path to Calcedon will be up to you. Scout ahead with the speculatories, then use Victrix to pacify the province. I will follow with Legio Prima Italica to help you hold the territory you take. Pontus has invaded Asia before. Carter was made proconsul to keep Mithridates from making another attempt. Something is different this time. Pontus has support among the local population. We have to treat Asia as hostile territory. King Mithridates has been building bridges with them for years, while exploiting the rift between the factions of the Senate. It is excellent statecraft. They are traitors, the lot of them. Crucify them. Let their deaths serve as an example for the rest. That is a wise plan, but Cotter's precarious situation does not leave us much time for caution. Then we must learn on our feet, Domina. The bulk of Mithridates' army is besieging Kazikos, the only city in Asia that resisted him. With his local allies, he is too great a force for us to face. If you can discover a way to turn the other regions here against Mithridatus and make them withdraw their forces from the siege, that would aid us greatly. What about the traitor? The one who lured the legion into Archelaus' ambush? He should be killed like the cockroach he is. Good that you mention it. 
I believe we may have found him. A Centurion called Cassius. He has been missing since the ambush, but a local fisherman admitted to taking him to the mainland. He speaks the local language and had family in this bus. Not precisely, but it appears he was originally from Troas. I would say it's a safe bet you'll find him somewhere in that region. He probably had help. Jumping to conclusions is unproductive. But I suspect he's working for Wittelius Skywiller. Forgive me, Domine, but what makes you think so? It's merely a suspicion. We shall talk about this later. Remember, he's no use to us dead. Visit me in my legion's camp when you have questioned him. If we're talking about interrogating spies, Calidus should be part of this. Where is he? It would not surprise me to find he's been standing right behind us this whole time. This is not the time to talk about that! I had a feeling you knew about it. I just couldn't figure out why you didn't bring it up. I didn't mean to pull you into my deception. I just wanted to give you a little more time to earn my trust. From you, but Caeso and Cineras hardly ever leave your side. Getting you alone to talk has proven difficult. Now, I wouldn't have undertaken this if I didn't like to be around men, but I will be glad to have another woman with me. It's about time you two met. I could never have maintained the deception for so long without the Consul's help. Kalida had more than proven her worth by the time she revealed the truth to me. It was her actions that gave me the idea to hide you among the Legion as well. For a spy, your disguise wasn't very convincing. But our little group is already led by a woman, so I figured, what's the harm in adding another? By all the gods, you are a great woman. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's turning into a whole thing. When this war is over, I will court you. You and I will produce strong children. I will attempt to take that as a compliment. Thank you, Legate. I'm sorry I lied to you. You have every right to feel betrayed. But I want you to keep Yulia Kalida in your Canterburnium. Militarily, you're an irreplaceable asset together. For what it's worth, I want to stay. I'll leave you two to catch up. I have an invasion to plan.
Good evening. You have dropped by at an inopportune moment. I was just closing up my shop. But since you are here, may I interest you in some finely crafted metalwork by local artisans? I am called Voithos. Your name marks you as a person of great distinction. It is my honor to meet you. Correct. <laughs> I am both a priest of Ephesus, the god of carpenters, craftsmen, artisans, and indeed smiths. It is my view that in order to pay full and proper tribute to Ephesus Clitotechnes, one must practice at least one of his crafts. I endeavor to practice them all. Though I have dedicated myself to the lame one, I both love and admire Apollon. Both are gods of creation, of art and beauty. There is no temple here to Ephesus, but his works are carried out every day to the benefit of everyone. I would not sell anything that I create. My hands and all that they make belong to Ephesus. I give it away freely to those in great need. But in the mercantile arts, I have found a way to sustain myself, as all men must do. Some of these items were donated to me, others I have purchased in order to resell. Finely wrought jewelry, sturdy tools, sharp weapons, items of pride and importance. Would you like to take a look? I would be thrilled to part with some of my materials. It is my duty and my pleasure to promote the art of smithing and other crafts. I can certainly provide that. You will not be disappointed in the quality of my items. As you wish. Of tools, I have plenty. How many do you need? You must be out on important business to be walking about so late. My stall is still open if you need food or medicine. The Man Crusher. You are the Man Crusher, aren't you? You? Who are you supposed to be? I am talking to the Man Crusher. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. Wait, what? Man Crusher? Are you serious? That's a euphemism, surely? I'm afraid not. And nothing good ever came out of that name. I greet you, young man. I was indeed known as the Man Crusher of Alicarnassus. But my past life is a distant memory now. Tell your master I don't fight for sport anymore. Cheater! I'm not here to hire you. I'm here for vengeance. I have so many questions. Grace, son of Diocles, son of Diodorus, spear thrower and Pancration athlete. Champion, of course. Diodorus, you are his grandchild. Is he... Is he still alive? Grief has turned him into a husk of the man he once was, but he is indeed still alive. 
Cheater. I used to be a wrestler. I was pretty good at it, too. I represented my hometown, Alicarnassus, in the Olympic Games. With honor, mostly. Honor? What do you know of honor? It is because of you my grandfather suffers now. Before I was sold as a Servus, I was the champion of my people, adored and envied by many. Obviously, no one was bold enough to challenge me, especially when it came to Pancration. Until my grandfather faced you, and you had to cheat in order to preserve your fame and fortune. I did what I was told. I was young, and I, I thought I'd bring honor to my city. You were a gladiator? You look nothing like a gladiator. How did you survive? It was a long time ago, Bestia, and I wasn't a gladiator. I was an athlete, competing in the Olympiads. I have seen free citizens fight in the arena. You competed for a prize in a kind of arena. Like a gladiator. You are Roman, aren't you? You would know that when a person is wronged, they are entitled to vengeance. It doesn't exactly work like that, kid. And Roman law applies only to Romans. I don't care if your laws apply to me or not. You are familiar with the concept of reciprocity. That's what matters. Cineros, the man-crusher of Halicarnassus, stole the Olympic trophy instead of facing my grandfather Diodorus in a fair contest of Pancration. I certainly didn't see this coming. Cinerus is a thief, huh? I reject that characterization of me. I've stolen only once. That hardly constitutes a habit. You should know, young man. As a result of my actions, Halicarnassus was expelled from the Union. I have paid for my crimes. I am told you were exiled and sold as a Servus. That still doesn't satisfy my grandfather's honor. The trophy belongs to my family. Give it back! I, Pigress, accept this challenge in my grandfather's name. He is a frail old man who can barely lift his finger now. But you can accept me as an extension of his will. Wait. Pigress is a professional wrestler in his prime. Cinerus, however formidable, is an old man. He doesn't stand a chance against Pigress. It's not fair. You're right, Kenturio, but what is? <laughs> Perhaps this is how it's supposed to be. This is how I finally pay for my crimes. Let us make it fair, then. I shall represent Sinoros. Why would I fight you? You are not a side in this conflict. It is Sinoros who committed the offense. It is Sinoros who should fight. I may not know anything about your customs, but I know what you are. You are the Ororos' champion. Now accept me as Sinoros' champion. You don't have to do this for me, Bestia. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say, but you could cheer for me. Pigress the Wrestler, prepare yourself. Let's see what a gladiator knows of Pancration. You're not as scary as you look. Strength is no match for skill, gladiator. I'm just testing your defenses. Where did your grin go, wrestler? You were so triumphant a moment ago. Is that all you got? Oh, it's not over yet. Uh, I think you broke my collarbone. Your footwork is sloppy. Come on, get back up. Enough! It hurts too much. You win. I have brought shame to my family. I do not know how I will face Theodorus after this. Please leave. I have to think.
a moment of your time, please. I have come to apologize for Bigress's behavior. My grandchild can be disrespectful and reckless. Please forgive him. It is embarrassing. The child is a good athlete, probably better than I ever was. He would have easily defeated any ordinary wrestler. But it seems the Man Crusher does not keep ordinary company. That was not a fair fight, however. A demand to face Cineros myself. You can't know that. I am physically superior to you, Diodoros. But what if we fight with our mind instead? A mind fight? Pankration is for young girls looking for a husband. <laughs> We're both too old for that kind of spectacle. True. So what do you propose, Man Crusher? Riddles. One shall pose three questions to the other. He who answers them all correctly will be the winner. Since I'm the one challenging, I should ask the questions. It's only fair. That's reasonable. I'm ready for your questions, Diodoros. Make them difficult, so you will be convinced of my victory in the end. Consider this thing. The more you have of it, the less you see. You see less in more darkness. Then the answer is darkness. <laughs> Very clever. Correct. Your second question follows. Consider this thing. The more of it you take, the more you have to leave behind. be money either. Is it life? That would have been too obvious, wouldn't it? You have failed, Man Crusher. It seems you are as weak in mind now as you were weak in body back then. I hope you feel I have granted you some manner of restitution. I do. Your old debt is settled. You will not hear from me again. Thank you for your help, Domina. It's quite all right. It would have felt good to finally beat him fair and square, but I'm... A moment of your time, please. Please forgive him. It is embarrassing. The child... That was not a fair fight, however. A dip... You can... I am physic... A mind... Pankrat... True. Riddles. One shall... Since I am the one... That's reason... Consider this thing. The more of it you take, the more you have to leave behind. I don't take life, do you? I think it's steps. You take steps and you leave things behind, including your steps, right? Correct. 
Your second question follows. Consider this thing which is all about, but can never be seen. It can be captured, yet cannot be held. It has no throat, but you can hear it. A bird can die when you catch it, but you can catch it indeed. It's not a living thing we're talking about, no. It's something like a wind. Wind? That's the answer. You are strong in mind, Cineros. I did not expect that. Your answer is correct. And now for your last question. Consider Alexandros Megas. When he conquered Gordion, how did he unravel the knot? That's an odd riddle. There are a few ways you can solve knot riddles, but how can I know without actually witnessing the event? Hmm. Let us eliminate the obvious wrong answer. How can we even know that? Chances are the question is a trap. Didn't Alexandros cut the knot? You win, Cineros the Man Crusher. It turns out you were the superior contestant after all. I probably wasn't the superior contestant back then. I was afraid, my friend. And my fear brought shame both to Kos and Alicarnassus. Thank you for admitting that and for allowing an old man to compete one final time. And I thank you, Diodoros, for allowing me to redeem myself. My mind is at ease now. Welling. Domina. Being Legatus places much responsibility on you. If we lose, even if it's due to bad luck, you will be responsible, not Fortuna. Good. But do not forget, a commander should always be ready for defeat. You are a gifted commander. I am sure this will only be the first of your many conquests. It is easy to get drunk on the fumes of victory. Please do not forget why you are doing this. Ah, home. It's a beautiful and ancient land, but no one can truly know it. This campaign will be a test of your capabilities. You must be ready for anything. Asia Minor may look beautiful and inviting, but do not be deceived. Tartarus is not too far away from the Elysium. Oh, wait. Legate, I am at your service as always. As I've explained, we need... Our way, Legate. If you have a moment, there's a matter which I believe urgently requires your attention. Although our legion is quite new, they're already demonstrating superior discipline and devotion. Unfortunately, no matter how successful a military engagement is, Sometimes the pacification of a region demands your personal attention.
With all due respect, I'm not in charge of Legio Victrix. You are responsible for making decisions. I can only give you my advice. Remember, Legate, until we take care of any such disturbances, we won't be able to control any territory we have captured. Left unextinguished, the embers of rebellion can turn into a roaring inferno. Our way, Legate. We're not at full strength, but we have enough men to get things done. If a battle awaits us, we will manage. Worse, the men we do have are not very experienced. We should not be fighting any battles in this state. Formation shall we use? Shall we proceed? Get 
All is well, I hope. Our dominance on land depends partly on our dominance of the seas, Legate. Unfortunately, we have discovered the Greeks are building a new navy somewhere. We do not know. They seem to be changing the location of their shipyards constantly. What we do know is that they're transporting vast quantities of lumber. We don't. But most of the pirates here seem to be working for Mithridates Magus. So that's a safe assumption. They seem to be adept at this kind of clandestine operation. Besides, this is their land. They know the landscape inside out. We can intercept their lumber shipment and kill everyone. That should slow them down. Enough for us to actually find their shipyards. Our way, Legate. Need something?
Need something? I'm a small. Talk most of all. I hope the wife is taken. Soldiers, let's get out of here. They came back, only to run off again. I wonder what it is they are looking for. Seem we have beat those scavengers to the treasure they sought.
me. Think again, like a shadow. Stand your ground. Let them come to us. I'll hold you back for as long as it takes. if you die. Formation, slow and steady.
see them. I sh we are well protected here. Be ready. Medicay. Here. That should feel better. Bad luck. What does it stop flowing on its 
tone, you know.